Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Toyota Camry. We're talking about this generation right here, guys. Okay, right here from year 2015, 16, and 17. If you have one of those and you have a problem where the radiator fan does not work, radiator fan does not turn on, we will explain which fuse and which relay you need to check before spending money on new radiator fan because often it could be a bad fuse or a bad relay. We'll explain where to find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays, at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, and why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, engines, transmission, we show you how to do practically almost anything guys. We even do body works. We have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, on Toyota Camry guys, Camry, if you have that generation, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay, why we do all that. Due to the fact that if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where your fuel pump fuse is located because your car cannot start, you can just watch that video, one, two minutes, you replace that fuse, that relay, you're back on the road and you're back in business, guys, because otherwise, if you don't have your service menu, uh, it could be really complicated. Sometimes it's hard to find. There is uh, abbreviations that most people do not know, so we try to make it really convenient for you. Another thing, guys, if you need to buy uh, parts, tools, fuses, relays, okay, you see that you have all these different kinds of fuses, guys, okay? You have different kinds of relays. You have these special fuses, by the way, that look like this one here check this thing out we will put the links in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time so let's start on it now so now the radiator fan if it does not turn on what can easily cause that guys it could be multiple things but first we will explain which fuse and relay you need to check you guys have two different fuse boxes we'll work in just one we'll need to open the hood once you open the hood guys okay right here on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover here go ahead and open it once you do that you will see the engine fuse box and that's the layout right here before we guys continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out now you guys have one special fuse for the radiator fan you see you have those little bitty fuses but it's none of these if you look right here you have that multi bulk fuse the little one and that big one here that little one is the one that we need if you remove it you just remove it with a nut right here but once you remove that nut you pull it out that fuse will look like this one right here now guys here what we have if you check you have one two three four five six fuses if one of them burns the bad news is you have to replace the whole fuse block good news we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time the fuse for the radiator fan is that first fuse right here the biggest fuse guys that fuse is the one that you will need to check the relay okay for the radiator fan will be that brownish orange relay right here other things that can cause radiator fan not to turn on guys it could be a bad radiator fan it could be bad coolant temperature sensor not sending the right information to the engine computer how hot the coolant is or it could be a signal wire from the engine computer to the radiator fan sometimes as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time